This, my friends, is a brand new SSL pirate flag that we have not had in quite a while because they are almost extinct. It's very hard to find now. But we have a very special purpose in mind for this exact flag right here, and you're going to find out about it in this video. So stay tuned. Mm, yummy. You got a cracker? It's a biscuit cookie. Mm -hmm. Money. Mm. It's a beautiful. Yeah, it's flat. Calm and sad. Can't believe it. You guys see that? <laughs> that thing right there, the bright shiny thing, it's really bright. It's We're trying miracle. to figure out what it is. It's we haven't seen it in a long time. Miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. I think in old times they used to call it the sun. <laughs> We're not sure what it is now because we haven't seen it in so long. It's like, wow. But it is great to see it. Oh, so we are sitting outside for the first time in a long time, enjoying our morning beverage because we haven't been able to sit out here in a long time mm. <laughs> because it's been raining <laughs> a it's lot. It's dry. I yeah, can be late too. Yeah. It is a beautiful morning at long last. Let's hope we see more of these. But for now, we're going to enjoy this and then we'll be right back at you. Cheers. Cheers. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Look okay? Or is it a little bit low? No, testing, okay. testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. Oh yeah, testing, it's got your testing. number for sure. Mrs. Voice over here. Testing, testing. <laughs> okay. Wow, listen to that. You can actually hear birds. That's lucky. Wow, you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, guys, it's very humidity. How nice is that? Yeah, it's yeah. hot, but yeah. it's nice. It's quiet. Uh, it's nice, for quiet, the moment. <laughs> peaceful. Yeah. But wow, guys, 700 comments on the last video. Thanks. Thanks so much. We never expect, expecting like this. Yeah, we don't even know what to say except thank you because. I think we were both a little bit more than nervous about what the result was going to be. I know, you know, <laughs> I hear you guys all the time. Please, we don't want another baby channel. Well, some of you. <laughs> yeah. But I was very surprised because 99% of you were all more than enamored and very positive and great comments. And two thumbs up to you guys. We thank you so much because it really made our day. So. Thank you. They are very warm and, warm and make me so happy. Yeah, I figured you guys were going to have a lot more questions than you did, but no, really, it was just a lot of positive thumbs up and reinforcements, and we want to thank you. You know, that was really amazing. So, I mean, the only thing I think some of you might be concerned with is what are we going to do next? Are we going to travel? And of course, yes. Yeah, we haven't changed our plans at all. We are here in Panama to get things going. We are still focused pretty much 100% right now on getting the engine issue fixed. Yes. So that's the biggest thing we're working on. And we have just released the fundraiser. And I, again, I can't believe the response that we had. I, I, you never know what's gonna happen when you put yourself out there. And I'm not a person who likes to admit when they need help. <laughs> it's not ever been no. me. I've always looked me after too. myself, always had my own job, my own money, everything yeah. like that. But. We were hit by COVID like a lot of you guys and my job was gone. So we pretty much focused 100% on YouTube and that covers most of our expenses luckily. And our patrons, they help out and that covers truck. Can you still hear the birds? <laughs> <laughs>
Hang on, Ayal they're coming Tan. back. Uh-huh. Now, what was I saying? You're speaking about uh, then, is that our time the same for us, for coronavirus? You don't make a more your right. job before? Yeah, just like you guys. I mean, I lost my job with coronavirus and I was doing commercial video and that immediately went straight down the toilet as everything got locked down. So you guys know where we're coming from. But, you know, we focused everything 100% on YouTube after that and you guys brought us through because we just kept making videos and you guys kept watching and that really helped out and our patrons kept growing. That pulled us through. So we've been able to sustain ourselves fairly well, luckily. The only yeah. thing that's given us a problem is when a major expenditure comes up, like, yeah, we've tried to resolve this engine issue. I've been working on that one for years, but yeah, it's just not getting anywhere, so. Yeah, and we decided to put, uh, in this time, a uh, fundraiser. Yeah, we started the fundraiser, and we've only released it to patrons so far, but I can't believe in day one, we reached 10%, day two, 20%, and today we are, I think, at 25 or 30, close to 30% yeah. already. Thanks so much for yeah, all again, your Again, don't even know what to really. say, but we do have to say thank you to everybody who's donated, and I have that list right here, so yeah. I hope you'll bear with us for a moment as we say thanks. Okay, thank you with uh, our button of our heart, Robin Join. Robert Young. Young. Yeah. Okay, anonymous first. Yeah, we have some people that prefer to remain anonymous, yeah. so I think you know who you are, but we want to thank you very much. Thank you so much. Stacy Mowers. Stacy Mowers. Neil Ellinger. Yeah. James Clayton. Mm -hmm. David Heller. Paul Garcia. Jim en Enklich. Enklich. I'm not sure, it depends how you spelled that. Uh, I don't know, Eklich, but you are, you know. You'll know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Richard Summers, Clayton Vanini, Gerard Barker, Jeffrey Brooks, Frederick Boy, J. Gregory Moore, Thomas Bristricken, I hope this is the, the great <laughs> pronunciation, Joseph Scotty. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You, you don't know how, how surprised us uh, your your gesture thank, thank you so much yes for sure and michael scarano brian downing jose venegas yeah venegas venegas yeah. david schmutzler howard fletcher roland trofen thomas stimmel larry caden jack mcdevitt mike abbott bruce westad peter groves another anonymous Again, thank you. You know who you are. Rhonda Gasper and Robert Stra... Let's see. Strazelkowski. Zelskowski. Yeah. Strazelski. I hope. <laughs> Maybe it's Robert Strazelski. We'll go with that. <laughs> but you know who you are and we'll put your name again on the screen there so you know for sure. Thank you. But yes. Thank you so... Oh... What's happened? I've been sitting here oh, the whole time. Oh, no, we need to repeat everything. <laughs> I don't know. Was I like this? It should be oh, okay. okay. And I'll just I'll zoom in a little bit just to correct the problem. Sorry. Yeah, we had a hidden name there that we wanted to be your name anonymous. So. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, thank you so much to everybody that's kicked off our fundraiser so far on GoFundMe. And we are officially announcing its release to you guys now today. So anybody that chooses in GoFundMe, yeah. on GoFundMe, we'll put a link in the description. And this is all for our new engine fund. So anybody who chooses to help out with us, we yeah. can't, again, thank you enough. We very much appreciate it. And yeah, it's really the one thing that we haven't been able to accomplish on our own. So we really appreciate that you guys would prefer that we keep on making videos for you guys instead of just stop and go back to work because I think I probably could find some jobs now I mean like yeah, I was doing before in commercial have, video yeah. things are starting to open up again so tourism businesses that was me always too. my profession before me too I think so the restaurant uh, all the hotels start to reopen we don't I don't always I don't have afraid about that but uh, really <laughs> I learn a lot in these three years and I work a lot to make uh, 
and I work a lot to open myself to you mm -hmm. and I hope then we continue and thank you so much for donate for give us this opportunity to follow a new adventure for the next year. Well, yeah, because given the choice between going back to the regular day job and stopping, you know, making videos again like I've had to do in the past. Now you work a lot, Rick, for building all this. No, I know, but that's become our focus now is YouTube and making videos for you guys. And we love that you enjoy them enough that you're actually helping us do this so that we don't have to stop and go back to work. I think that's what we're trying to say. So thank you so much for giving us the option of being able to just continue what we're doing instead of having to go back to just working a regular mm -hmm. job in order to pay for this problem. So thank you and we love you guys. <laughs> thank you. So we love much. you. Now next on our list but no less important is our travel plans and our need for a crew. Obviously Madalena is going to be occupied for the next little while and we're going to require a little assistance. So we do have a couple of interviews we're doing currently but we never know what's going to happen for the not too distant future. So. If any of you are interested, we are looking for a nice couple to have on board that can help out with all aspects of the boat, including normal domestic responsibilities, you know, just cooking, cleaning, stuff like that, but also working with me and helping with the refitting of the boat because we have a lot of really cool projects coming up. And I've been doing them on my own for the last while, but it's a lot more fun having somebody working with you, especially when it comes to filming and actually putting together, you know, tutorials of how we're doing this, why we're doing this, things like that. We can do some of that kind of stuff on our own, but it's a lot more fun with other people. So, what can I tell you? Yeah. So, if you think that's you, then drop us oh, a wait, note. Wait. I don't need only to work. I have some fun, some travel, some sailing. Oh, of course, that goes without saying. I mean, it's not just work-related here. We are going to be going to some new areas, and that brings us to our itinerary. Now, we are looking for some people to come and help us for the next few months. You know, and then obviously Madeleine is going to be distracted. We're going to have baby sometime in late November, early December. But until then, we are thinking about where do we want to be? Mm -hmm. Right now we're in Panama. We're getting a little bit, you know, <laughs> fed up with the weather. <laughs> Not getting projects done nearly as fast as we thought yeah, we would. Very early. But we are going to be here for a little while. And this is one place that's open that's easy for you guys to get to if you wanted to come down. and. We are going to open up our two cabins. So we have one cabin for crew and one cabin for guests. We are going to open up some weeks of charter, whether it's here in Panama or, and I know some of you have already predicted this might happen, <laughs> yeah. but let me explain something to you. We have noticed that it is a very big pain in nice. the ass <laughs> to bring stuff to Panama. Very expensive and very drawn out. Yeah, and it a lot takes of, a long yeah. time to get anything here and the expense is just immense. So yeah, a lot of sponsors don't want and nothing here. We have had three sponsors in the last mm -hmm. two weeks that have said, no, we're sorry, we don't ship to Panama anymore, so you have to give us a different address. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we don't have a different address right now. So this is what we're thinking. We're thinking to come back in San Andreas. Shh, but, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> No, we have actually been in touch with all of our friends back in San Andres and they have said, hey, if you guys want to come back, the door is open, come back anytime. And we are thinking to go back for, let's say, a month to receive some of our shipments that we need to do from the States. Because there, as you remember, that was one of our biggest reasons for being there because it's easy. It takes some sun, swimming. Yeah, we can get sun. some sun, anchor in clear water again, do some swimming, get some in projects. In one <laughs> month, then I can swim in, in a water, clear <laughs> water. Yeah. It is very, and then raining, raining all the day, guys. Today, yeah. I think, so we stop here outside for make a video and everything because we take advantage and after two weeks is the first miracle day of sun. Remember what we said this morning when we started this video? It was the first time we'd seen the sun in a long time, for more than an hour at least anyway. So yeah, yeah that's why we take advantage of it now and it was a good time because we wanted to come outside for this video. It's so nice to just be outside and it's not raining. <laughs> yeah. But this is one of our incentives for wanting to go back to San Andres just for specifically this purpose and also to invite some of you guys. How many of you might be interested in coming down and doing something like, uh, you know, B&B charters with us or something if we're there for a little while, flying for a few days, flying for a week, whatever, 
there are places on shore if some of you just want to stay on shore maybe we have an SSL reunion or party or something like that in our favorite place in the world but we will definitely have at least one cabin available for some of you that might want to stay on the boat and help us out with our uh, fundraiser, you know, so yeah. Our again, door are open. Leave us a comment or send us an email. You can reach me at my normal email. You got it right here on the screen. It's rick at sailingsophisticatedlady.com. If you got any questions or you want to just, you know, find out about that option, let us know. Yeah. Right now it's up in the air. We don't know what we're going to do, but we're thinking that's a good option because we have a lot of stuff we still need to receive from not only some of you, but some bigger sponsors that want to send us more gear that I love to receive because I love making the tests and reviews and the install videos and teaching you guys, you know, what works, what doesn't, what's good, what's bad. And we take advantage to improve the very sophisticated lady. Yeah, we're upgrading constantly and, you know, the, the engine project is going to be ongoing in the background for the next several months, but we have a lot of smaller stuff in the foreground that's immediate. So that's what we're focused on right now also. You guys can be part of that. Truck. <laughs> we need Tiki in this time, you know, <laughs> they make a song. But yes, you guys, we want to make some of you part of that. And we're also thinking at the end of this fundraiser, when we hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, if it all works out and we get the engine working, working the engine yeah. plan formulated and, you know, truck. No car, no truck. <laughs> But that's why we're thinking we want to have some of you guys involved in this part of the process where when we get this new engine on board and we're getting it installed, we want to have a celebration event oh, with you yeah. guys and have some of you come down so all the people that have donated will either randomly draw some names or something, but some of you or all of you or whoever wants to come really, I don't think we really care. With the new engine, the seven C are open for us another time. And Who yeah. wants to come down for the first turn of the key? Yeah. That's the question. <laughs> some of you might, many of you may not, but it's going to be a fun event, I think, a thrill for us and a thrill for some of you also. Well, luckily we have some mounts more before than doing something like this, but... Yeah, it's a few months down the road because all the engine manufacturers need some notice, but I haven't started negotiating with mm -hmm. anybody yet because we're waiting until the the fundraiser reaches a certain level and we know okay this is happening then we have some some negotiating power to go with them and say okay this is what we're going to have to work with what can we do and see who wants to work with us so stick with us we'll keep you posted on all of that as we go but for now we're just gonna we'll let that ride another idea then growing in our brain in this time and uh, we just released in the last uh, one week in the last week. Oh, you're talking about brainstorming? Yeah, I'm both about brainstorming. Yes. This was an idea I had because it's for patrons. So if you're one of our patrons and you haven't already joined and you are interested in... Participate you know, in decision. Well, the logistics suggested. of SSL, like the ongoing future and the decisions that we make now and in the future about what we're going to do next. Uh, about projects ongoing on the boat, about the financials of what we do. Some of you are always asking about, you know, how much does this cost? What does it cost to do this? I've which created this group, way. which is specifically for patrons. Yeah. So patrons are more than invited to come into this group. It's called SSL Brainstorming. You can't get in without an invitation. So all you have to do is be one of the patrons and there'll be a link for you there. So if you're not a patron already, but would like to be, and you'd like to be part of this group, just go to patreon.com slash sailing sophisticated lady and once you're signed in and everything you just send us a message and we'll send you an invite and mm -hmm. that is where we're going to be discussing a lot yeah. of upcoming it's more direct, events uh, direct way is more more close way direct way to uh share it with you our future project what are we thinking and yeah. uh, and take your suggestions so your suggestion discussion uh, about everything and help us to take the best decision, I think so. Right, and the other group that many of you already know about is SSL Backstage. Mm -hmm. And Backstage, that's because I don't want to limit our exposure uh, to just people that can afford to sign up to patrons, you know, for communications. I hate being the person who says, no, you can't talk to us unless you pay. So we don't want to be those people. If you want to talk to us in real time, you can always do that at SSL Backstage, and that's open for any real fans of SSL that just want to come in and be part of 
real time what we're doing. Okay, so the difference between backstage and, and brainstorming is just that this one, brainstorming is purely logistics, discussing projects, what we're going to do to move forward, and, you know, being in part of kind of like the business plan of SSL. Whereas brainstorm, or sorry, backstage is just the entertainment side of it, yeah. where we are in real time, what we're doing that day, who we're with, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. you can always come into backstage no matter what. So if you want to be part of that discussion, just go over to our Facebook group that you can find a link to always in our text description in the video. And if you want to come to brainstorming, just be a patron and send us a message. Simple as that. So in addition to what we're talking about with San Andres, we are still going to do some cruising in Panama as well. If you want to come down and maybe spend some time seeing the San Blas Islands or, you know, Portobello, some of our favorite spots here, Shelter Bay Marina, Linton Bay Marina, there's all kinds of cool things to do in these areas that we love that you guys would for sure enjoy. And then the plan to go to San Andres is only because sailing to Bocas del Toro from here goes through a dead zone like a tropical convergence zone that is all zero wind most of the time yeah, very flat. and all lightning storms. I think you might remember that video from, you know, maybe two seasons ago when I had my kids on board and it was a nasty, nasty trip and it's almost mm -hmm. always like that. So we're thinking, well, why just motor that trip when there's no wind and lightning storms everywhere? Instead, we can make a great sail to San Andres. It's an overnight trip. You know, it's only 250 miles. So we start in the morning, we get there before dinner the next day. We spend our time there, have some of you on board, and then we can sail from San Andres, a nice sail back yeah. to Bogus del, Toro, Bogus del Toro. And we actually have good wind, good sailing, instead of just a motor ride through hell. Yeah, <laughs> and Bogus del Toro is a very nice place, very untypical, uh, it's very special place. It's, um, well, it's I, one of the few places yeah. in Panama we can actually anchor the boat and yeah. live at anchor. Yeah, the, the, view, the sea is beautiful, a lot of activity, if you somebody loves surf, dive, uh, excursion, trekking, is, is really uh, a big open world and uh, have a lot of uh, entertainment inside the city in, in a different island. Is um, Go to internet mm -hmm. to check some information if you, somebody is interested. Yeah, anything and, you want is in Bogus yeah. del Toro. That's one of the cool places that we really do like. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're thinking we might have Capitan Junior. <laughs> because there's a brand new hospital there. Everything is accessible from the dinghy dock, which is, you know, the dinghy dock's five minutes from the boat maximum. And have all of... Aeroport too. In airport, minutes, hospital, in yeah. department, stores, groceries, hardware stores. Everything is like a 10-minute walk maximum yeah. from the dinghy dock. So... It's a pretty cool place, so we're going to be opening up some weeks there while we can. So if you guys are interested, then just, again, drop us an email, like I said. Yeah, the charter are open, the invitation are open, our door are open, and you are always welcome. And on that, I think we will say good evening, because it's almost dinner time, and we're going to go back and start settling into making something yummy for dinner. Mm -hmm. Don't know what, but it's always yummy. Soup tonight? <laughs> oh man, we came home from a dinghy ride the other night and it rained and poured on it. We got so cold and by the time yeah. we got back we were freezing. And we just got inside the boat and we made a big old pot, Instapot, full of hot yeah. soup. <laughs> and we gouged on that all we night. a lot of spice too. A lot of <laughs> spice, yeah. Fresh pepper up the hole. Yeah. <laughs> For our body. It was good. Yeah, it's true. But anyway. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Uh, if you, uh, yeah. I don't know what time in uh, your country, and see you in the next episode. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all the donations yeah. and the positive all. feedback on Capitan Junior and everything yeah. else. So have a good evening. Stay Thank safe you. out there, and we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao. Ciao. So, what's our plan for the big new SSL pirate flag? 
Well, we have a very limited number of these left because I can't even buy them on Amazon anymore. But with this particular flag, we want to use it as a little thank you for helping us get this far when we reach 50% of our goal on the GoFundMe. So right now we're at about 25%. And when we reach 50%, we want to take this flag and we're going to take a black magic marker and write everybody's name who helped us get to 50% and hoist the flag up on Sophisticated Lady where we're going to fly it for a little while and then we're going to take it down and randomly pick one of the names to send to you as a souvenir and a thank you from us in the hopes that you might even fly it somewhere and take a picture of it and send it back to us. So just a little thank you. And if you guys help us get close to funding 100% of our goal, we're going to have something even better for you. But we'll save that for a future episode. So thanks so much for helping us get this far, guys. And we look forward to seeing your name on this flag.